What is up guys, it's X-Rays and welcome to a new episode of Cool Story Bro, the weekly series where you guys listen to some of the craziest, most bonker filled stories that viewers like you come up with. In order to send in a story to the series, simply send me a PM to my channel called Cool Story Bro and then list away your story. It can be anything. It can be about you in space, being a Power Ranger. I don't care. As long as it's funny, hilarious, and, my, and the subs will enjoy, then you have a chance of being featured. In the series, you compete against two other people, so for a total of three stories. The winner of the Coolest Story Award gets a link in the description, a annotation on the screen on my channel throughout the entire length of the video. Now, you can also send in gameplay to this series in order to be featured. You will get a link in the description and you get a little bit of exposure off it. And in today's uh, video, the gameplay is from Chauvin. You guys can go check him out. He's got insane gameplay over there. Uh, he's got like 50 kill Moabs with... Uh, with uh, Barrett stuff like that it's really insane if you guys want to check him out go ahead and link to his channel in the description anyways guys so now it's time to find out who won the coolest story award the winner of this gets the most votes in the comment section down below and they get voted on by the people the viewers who watch the so in order for you guys to also get interactive on this leave a comment down below of which is your favorite story from the ones you listen to today anyways the winner of the coolest story award goes to Camp Bella Fella 2 uh, I hope I said it right, Camp Ella Fella 2, and he sent in the story about a person jumping off of a cruise ship, getting his uh, his lower appendage chopped off, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, what everybody likes to keep on a trophy case, and then finding it at a fish restaurant, just like on his food, so it was really funny, if you guys want to uh, listen to that story, it's in the previous episode of Cool Story Bro, link to that episode in the description as well. And now that we got that out of the way, good job to Camp, uh, Camp Bella Fella 2. And let's jump into today's uh, featured stories. They're really hilarious. I actually really enjoyed these. And if you guys want to send them in, again, guys, send me a PM. Let's jump straight into it. Uh, it says, I wake up in a dark room like in Saw. I feel a long, hard, and cold rod that feels like a penis. Okay, first thing he thinks about is a penis. Except it's not a penis. Insert shocking music. Da, da, da. Because it has a button on it. So I press it, and it's a flashlight. I see a malnutrition and starving bum in the opposite corner. I realize I am slightly hungry. Then I see a Hershey's kiss dispense from the ceiling. Then I hear a voice come from the speakers placed around the room. You have two tasks to overcome. The first... You or this disgusting hobo must eat this Hershey kiss. Then you must choose to die from being fisted by an iron fist that is rusty with iron spikes on the end. Or listen to Call Me Maybe and Boyfriend repeatedly for an hour. You have two minutes to decide your first task or be shot. Being slightly hungry and him starving, I did the most humane, brave, and righteous thing possible. I grabbed the flashlight, then beat the hobo to death. Then proceeded to eat the Hershey's kiss while teabagging him. Okay, so I guess that's you made. Good, the voice said. Now, what do you choose for the two tests? I then thought, and then I said, option three. Gay? He said with a Russian accent. C, I said ominously. I sing call, call me maybe and boyfriend for an hour while fisting you with an iron fist with rusty spikes. Insert dramatic, dramatic music. Bum, bum, bum. Then another Hershey's kiss fell from the ceiling and a door opened revealing a hot pick Lambo. I skipped to it and drove to my gingerbread house where my mom was feeding your grandma's anus bananas. <laughs> oh, man, the first time I read this thing, man, I was laughing uncontrollably. That is crazy. I mean, he went from a situation in Saw, killing a hobo with a flashlight, to teabagging him and then fisting, uh, supposedly trying to fist his captor, and then going home to his gingerbread house. <laughs> I mean, this thing had so many things going to it, so let's start off the first part. Um, why did you think of a penis when you felt the rod? Alright, no, okay, whatever, let's just, let's just steer away from that. Anyway, so, you killed the hobo, 
Uh, you beat him to death with a flashlight. I mean, uh, I would probably... I mean, how was the flashlight? I want to know, how was the flashlight? If you have warranty on it, you <laughs> maybe want to go get that checked out. Uh, maybe you can get some money back. Say that a hobo um, beat himself to death. Just, you know, because you don't want to go to jail, obviously, for this. And anyway, so you ate the Hershey Kiss. Probably had some sort of STD or drugs on it, and you ate it. So, uh, I mean, go get yourself checked for any kind of diseases. And then you started singing Call Me Maybe and Boyfriend for an hour repeatedly. Or you threatened to do it. So <laughs> I guess um, if you didn't have the best singing voice, maybe um, Jigsaw, if, if he was the one who captured you, maybe he was a little disturbed and just let you go free. And the next thing I want to know about is how much did this gingerbread house cost you? Because I really want to get into the market of gingerbread house. I want to buy, re you know, restore them and sell them at higher prices. So... That and, uh, so, your mom was feeding your grandma bananas in her anus, uh, eh, I mean, what the hell's going on there, that your grandma can't eat anymore, they gotta do it from the, you know, like a placebo type thing, or whatever they're called when they shove a, a pill up your ass, I mean, I don't know what the hell it's called, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, um, here's what you wanna do also, cause you're probably a little bit traumatized, either that or you're really giddy from finding out, <laughs> uh, all this stuff, you're gonna want to immediately see a therapist and get some help. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for your story, man. That was really funny. I had a I had a good crack at it. And uh, let's go into the next story now, guys. Next story. X-rays. I need help. All right. So yesterday, I was told by my sister's friends, mom's cousins, dogs, wife's boyfriends, cats, pen pals, clothes designer, that there was a rumor going around. I thought nothing of it since rumors happen all the time. I then noticed that the rumor involved my donkey. And I am very overprotective of my donkey. I then found out that the rumor was that my donkey gave an STD to my brother's friend's dog's testicles cousin's lawyer. I wasn't positive this was true, but I knew it was probable because it's the time of the month for my donkey, if you know what I mean. I did some more research and according to WTF, Wikipedia, Facebook, Twitter, it was true. I set my donkey down and gave him some words of advice. Roses are red, condoms are blue, STDs are contagious, so watch who you screw. All my donkey did was laugh, so I need your thoughts on what I can do to make him obey me. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to possibly remove the whole genital area of this donkey. Um, the, you know how you got to spade and neuter your pets and whatever? You got to do the same thing to this donkey because he's just laughing at you, man. He's got STDs and he's screwing people around. And you got this long list of people. I mean, this rumor could have gone everywhere. Uh, but, I mean, you're talking about testicles, lawyers, uh, wives, boyfriends, cats, pen pal, all this stuff. You want to cut all ties of contact to this donkey because you don't know who this donkey's been in contact. He could have been with a mob for all you know. He could have been working with a mob, giving people STDs, giving them the clamp, if you know what I'm talking about, huh? But, you know, <laughs> you got to sit down this donkey. You got to remove his pride and joy if it's a girl or if it's a dude. I'm thinking it's a dude because he said that uh, he screwed uh, somebody. So, you're going to want to immediately have that donkey spayed or neutered whatever whichever one you feel like doing i don't really care but you got to get those urges out of him and you gotta you gotta just keep him out of contact put him in solitary confinement i know you love him but the best thing to do is not have your donkey killed you know by some kind of secret um fbi or cia type people who are looking to kill him because they infected apparently a huge huge amount of people with this std virus and you're gonna want to also get medication get your donkey on the pills get him on all sorts of medication to clear him up from this thing or at least control this STD. You don't want the STD to control your donkey. You want your donkey to control the STD. Uh, that and maybe put a lot of sedatives, get him medicated so he's completely high all the time and doesn't think about raping people. <laughs> so, um, I hope things go well for your donkey, I guess. Uh, anyways, thanks for the story. That was that was really long. I can't believe I got all those references right. So, uh, thanks a lot for that. Let's jump into the next story, guys. The very last one. Hey, so last week I was walking home from school and I see this old lady in a wheelchair trying to wheel her way up a hill. So as the kind guy that I am, I go over and I say to her, Do you need help? She says, Yeah, that would be great. So once I helped her up the hill... She suddenly grabs my hand, handcuffs me to the effing wheelchair, and then drives me into the woods. Well, what she did to me was effing disgusting. She always looks at me when I'm walking home from school now. Help! Oh, man. Um, 
Here's what you're gonna want to do, bro. First of all, if she, unless she threatened to kill a family member or something, I would immediately go find that wheelchair lady and kick her ass. I would kick her old granny ass. I would uh, loosen all the screws on her wheelchair so when she's trying to get up the ramp, she would fall. And then once she falls, record it and then record yourself beating her. I mean, that is disgusting, bro. She took you into the forest. And you were being such a nice guy, trying to help out, trying to help this lady go up this hill. You know, this old lady went up the hill, and you're trying to help her. And how does she repay you? She takes you to the woods, and she does disgusting things. I'm assuming she did um, things you should only do when you're married. And uh, first of all, also, you want to also go ahead and check out, if you haven't any STDs like that donkey we mentioned before in the previous story. You want to go to the doctor, get checked out. You don't know what the old wheelchair... I mean, she could have been sitting on rust the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Something disgusting. Um, yeah, but anyways, kill her. Find her. Bury her body. Make sure she probably... Nobody probably knows her. If she does those kinds of things, nobody knows her. No family. No one would know that she's gone. Just leave her, you know, somewhere. Dead. Bury her. Protect other people. Other kind people like you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thanks for the story. Uh, all right, guys, now is the time for you guys to vote. Which was your favorite story? Comment down below. Was it the one about the old lady wheelchair? Was it the one about the donkey getting it on and a bunch of people getting involved? Or was it the very first story that was like Saw, you know, getting trapped in a room, killing a hobo with a flashlight? Vote down below. And, of course, send me a PM of the stories you guys have. And, of course, stop by my channel for more episodes of Cool Story Bro. And Max Rays, I'm out, guys. Peace.